everybody. Welcome to my channel. Um, verse of the day, God saved you by his grace when you believed. And you can't take credit for this. It's a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done. So none of us can boast about it. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9. Prayer. Most gracious God, quicken me by your Holy Spirit that I may run in the way you have marked out for me. May I ever be kept looking off into unto Jesus. Lord, the great physician, we look to you today to supply our every need. Father God, today I surrender every area of mind, will, and emotions to you. I choose to dwell on your goodness and faithfulness so that the good seeds you planted in my life will take root. Keep me close to you and direct my steps down the good path you have prepared for me. Dear God, just as you faced Adam in the garden and David through Nathan many years ago, we ask you today to keep us accountable to what you have taught us from your word. May we take total responsibility for all of the issues that involve us, both positive and negative, that we may face. O oh Lord, anointed Savior, Savior, help us to unite with the entire heavenly host in glorifying your name. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And the Bible promise of the day is, I love to sing over you with lo loud shouts of joy. Our Father God promises that he rejoices over what, us with love. The Lord your God in your midst, the Mighty One, will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with His love, and He will rejoice over you with singing. Zephaniah 3.17 Have you ever thought about that? He sings over you. He will quiet you with His love, and He will rejoice over you with singing. That's I love that. Prayer quote of the day. In Gethsemane, the holiest of all petitioners prayed three times that a certain cup might pass from him. It did not. After that, the idea that prayer is recommended to us as sort of infallible gimmick may be dismissed. Author C.S. Lewis. I have to read that again. Let's see. In Gethsemane, the holiest of all petitioners prayed three times that a certain cup might pass from him it did not wait a minute are they talking about jesus in gethsemane when he asked lord if it's possible to take this cup from me but he also said not my will but yours after that the idea that prayer is recommended to use to us as a sort of infallible gimmick may be dismissed author c.s lewis comes down to yes god answers prayers and many many times he answers them uh, the way you ask, but sometimes the way you ask is not the way that is the best. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. And do not forget to talk to Jesus today because it really makes a difference.